Hey, we're back. We're back. We're back. And it might be a little loud because we are dog sitting this week. So we've got more we've than got our normal. Dog. We've got an extra dog. Yes, and, and she is Wanda. And she is very interested in what we're doing and she's circling this area. So if a dog shows up, lucky you. Lucky you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, hello. All right, so we are going to be continuing our story. You remember last week we were talking, Jesus was talking about that he's the bread of life and that there were some people behind him. Harvey, can you, can you, just wait, just wait. We can pet Lana after, I promise. Okay. Anyways, these, some people were in the back. Religious authorities were in the back saying, this guy's not so great. This guy's not bread. What is he talking about? A lot of complainers. Well, Jesus goes into further teaching. And you know what? It's not it's kind of hard to understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the story and we're going to kick around some ideas with the disciples about what perhaps Jesus was talking about. Sound like a plan? Yeah. All right, go team. Go team. Go team. So Jesus continued his teachings to the disciples. He said, yes, that's right. I am the bread of life. I'm the bread of life, the living bread that came down from heaven. Everyone who eats this bread will live forever. The bread is my body. Yes. And I will give it to the life of the world. I will give it. I'm bread of life for the world. This is disgusting. You expect me to eat your body, man? Anyone who eats my body and drinks my blood has eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. Anyone who eats my body and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. This is getting pretty gross. This is very good. She's like a vampire. This is a little bit. Yeah, I'm not so sure I get this one. What do you think you mean? It's challenging because it's gross. I can't agree with any of this. You're not bread and I'm not eating you. Oh, uh, so wait a minute. Maybe it's kind of like, uh, like if you're not, uh, in his group if you're not listening to him then you don't know what he, i don't i am really baffled with this whole thing what do you think it means listen those who remain in me i will remain in them the living father sent me i i live because of him in the same way you will live because of me as i feed you this is the bread that came down from heaven yes your people ate manna and died whoever eats this bread will live forever Maybe it's that what he's offering us is a gift that can really only come from him. Only come from God. You know what I mean? Like, like, like it's a promise for eternal life. And that promise is, 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 is given from Jesus like that. That's probably what it means, right? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I don't. So you can't get it yourself is what you're saying. Ooh, so it's kind of like a race, right? Like where they're giving out awards or medals or something. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter like what, what uh, how hard you run or, 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 I don't know if I get it. I still don't. No, 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 no. I think Hulk's on to something. So it's like, it's like the promise is, is secure, right? Like it's him. It's in his body. It's in his blood. Like he can offer it. It's his and he's given it to everybody to, uh, to have. So yes, yes, Hulk. Thomas. <laughs> he offers his body. It's for all of us because he's given it. We don't take it. He offers it freely. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that, 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 that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's something here about promises. I don't know if I get it. I still don't get it. Um, yes, I am the bread of life that comes down from heaven. Yes, and and yes, what you guys are saying is pretty good. Yes. It is a gift, it is a promise, and it comes from God and God alone. You're getting it! And that's what happened. That's the teaching of Jesus. Pretty clear, right? I don't know if I get it. You don't know if you get it? No, me neither. You know what? That is a tough teaching. I think that's why the folks at the back were being so critical, is it was a really hard thing to wrap your head around, Right? What do you think he meant by that? When we think of eating Jesus' body and blood, what comes to our mind? Are we vampires? That's one thing. That's but, one thing. but when we go to church, don't we take his body and his blood? Doesn't somebody hand you something and say, body given for you, blood shed for you? Do you guys remember this? Communion. Communion. Yes, it is a gift. 
It is offered to us. What did you do to earn communion? Um. Nothing. It was just offered freely, right? It was given to you because we need it. So if you think about it, I like I liked Thomas's question when he's like, it's kind of like a race, right? No, it's not. The disciples and even the people who disagreed with Jesus, Jesus was saying, my body, my blood is the only thing, the only thing that offers this new life. And I give it. I offer it only if I offer it freely. So he's offering it to them, to the people in the back that are complaining, to anyone who wants to receive this good news. It is for you. New life is for all of us. And it's not about if you can do this, that, or the other. It's the good news is revealed in Jesus offering it for all people. Can you think of um, anything you've received for doing nothing? How about fresh air, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. What a gift. What a gift. How about uh, your parents who love you? Did you earn our love? No. No, we loved you from the? Beginning. From the beginning. Yes. That's what God's saying is about eternal life. And the promise is that it is given to you because of Jesus' love, because of Jesus' sacrifice of his own body, his own blood. He means to say, I am willing to scoop you up and love you and care for you like you're loving on Lana right now. Um, because I love you so much, you can taste and see this is good news. This is about a promise from Jesus. And he's saying, even with the complaining in the back, even with the frustrations, he's saying, this is new life. This is a promise. So we receive that promise, not because we're awesome, not because we're the best. Imagine if you only got communion because you were the most like, uh, you had perfect attendance at church. No, it's for anybody who shows up. It's for all people because that's how Jesus' body works. That's how Jesus' blood works. That's how Jesus' sacrifice works. That's how Jesus' love works. It's for all people and all means all. So this week I want you to remember this. You are loved. All means all. And taste and see. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.